struggle, man. Life's hard. Tired of people telling me to grind. Tired of it. Tired of it. I don't believe it anymore. I saw this quote the other day. It said, they sleep, I grind. I was like, wow. Maybe you wouldn't need to grind so much if you were better rested. Maybe the reason you keep falling short is mental fatigue. Maybe the motto should be, they sleep, I sleep. Because it's night time. And not a literal owl. I saw another quote that said, the grind is everything. It's just like, no, it's not. They do studies about what old people regret, and zero of them ever say, man, I wish I grinded more. <laughs> And all those things is, man, I wish I didn't work so hard. Because working sucks. And we're worried about robots taking our jobs. Uh. Why? <laughs> Take them? <laughs> Take all of them? <laughs> oh, yeah, but flipping burgers is my identity. <laughs> it's just like, dude, get a new identity. If you can flip a burger, you can hold the mic and segue to a job that will make your parents even less impressed. <laughs> so another quote that said, let them sleep while you grind. Let them party while you work. The difference will show. So yeah, obviously, one of you will be well rested and popular. <laughs> the other will use the word grind as a noun. <laughs> tired, man. Tired people telling me to grind. I don't believe it. I think part of the problem, too, is a lot of people are just grinding to get rich. You know? It just seems selfish to me. You know? People say, oh, well, you shouldn't judge. You don't know why people want to get rich. Maybe they want to get rich to give back to society. You ever think of that? Parties? It's like, no, I haven't. Because I listen to music. Case in point, 2010, Bruno Mars released a song called Billionaire. First line of the chorus, I want to be a billionaire. So effing bad. Oh, well, why Bruno? Why do you want to be a billionaire? Is it to give back to the peoples of the world? Here's the full chorus. I want to be a billionaire so effing bad to buy all of the things I never had. And it's just like, yo, Bruno, what did you never have that a billion dollars is your barrier to entry? sitting off in the corner, impoverished, just thinking to yourself, oh, 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 if only I had more money so I could finally afford a large bridge. <laughs> really helped with my predicament. I'm like, oh, my fortunes would turn so I could finally purchase the Suez Canal. <laughs> really helped tie me over. Go! Oh, oh! Oh, if only I had a billion dollars so I could finally buy a Dyson vacuum cleaner. <laughs> Real talk, that's the only reason I want to be rich, is to buy a Dyson vacuum cleaner. I know that they're just regular vacuums, but I see the commercials and I buy all the hype. And it's like, what am I going to do? Go back to using a regular vacuum? Like a plebe? Like a peasant? Like some commoner whose vacuum doesn't have aerospace engineering? 
was like, yeah, I could buy a used car or I could buy a vacuum, which instead of using bags, uses cyclone technology. <laughs> you understand? I could clean my carpets with the suction power of a natural disaster. <laughs> It's really funny because if you go to the Dyson website, it says that James Dyson went through 5,127 prototypes before landing on a working model, and you're supposed to read that and be like, oh wow, like I guess you're like spending a lot of time perfecting the technology. He's just like, yeah, maybe, or maybe he just sucks at making vacuums. <laughs> People say, well, it's not about getting rich. It's about competing. It's about being number one. So that sounds great. If grinding guaranteed winning, I'd be all for it. But not everyone who grinds wins. And we know that because math. <laughs> People say, well, that's the wrong attitude to have. Just because there's a likelihood of failure doesn't mean that you shouldn't have lofty ambitions. You should shoot for the moon. Because if you fall short, you'll land in the stars. <laughs> that sounds lovely. Until you remember that the stars are not the moon. Like, what do I care about the stars for if I'm trying to get to the moon? Like, if I'm in Canada and I'm shooting for Disneyland, I'm not going to be okay with falling short and landing in North Dakota. <laughs> And even the people of North Dakota don't want to be in North Dakota, man. The state's got a negative net migration rate. Even refugees are just like, we're good. <laughs> you can tell, well, it's the journey that matters, not the destination. It's just like, yo, what are you talking about? The best part about going to Disneyland is being in Disneyland. <laughs> it's not getting to Disneyland. Like, no kid ever looks around the inside of his minivan and thinks to himself, can't get better than this. <laughs> Journey's not the best part, man. Stop trying to sell us the middle ground as if it's a victory. It isn't, you know? Like, no one ever went up to Evil Knievel and said, hey, man, I want you to shoot for the other side of the canyon. But don't worry if you fall short. Because then you land in the game. <laughs> Don't believe it, man. Funny thing is, it's never successful people telling you to grind. You know what I'm saying? It never is. Barack Obama doesn't sign off his tweets, hashtag hustle. <laughs> Warren Buffett never goes jogging wearing a t-shirt that says, all day, air leg. <laughs> Grind's a concept invented by corporations to increase the productivity of workers. That's it. They want you to believe that if you keep your head down, do your job, grind it out, then you'll succeed. Will you? Or will you end up stabbing yourself with a big pen? Just to avoid hearing Peter drone on and on again about how Wendy used the break room microwave to heat up fish. Why are you telling me, Peter? I can't make the break room unsmell. You overestimate my powers. How oh, robots do take our jobs. When they do, the first jobs they take is writing motivational quotes. <laughs> so we can focus on things that robots can't do, you know? Like creating art. I know what you're thinking. Oh, well, actually, far as, you know, robots can use artificial intelligence <laughs> to create art, and it's only a matter of time before their art is better than our art. <laughs> so it's like, yeah, maybe. But for the time being, they still need my help to tell them which photos have stop signs in them. <laughs> so until then, I'm going to let them do the grinding. My name is Paris Clark.